Hi everyone. We were seeing electronic instrumentation. Its introduction we have seen. Then, as we are going to see the major performance parameters of electronic equipment. So, actually, we want to see the block diagram of electronic instrumentation system. Along that one, some important parameters also we can see. So. In the first video we have seen what is instrumentation, some technology of measuring which serves not only science but also branches of measurement. It is just a, we, we want to take some comparison or we want to take measure some quantity, we require instrumentation. And it is an older technology, we were using that one from our most of our olden eras. But in this 21st century, all these measuring devices are now becoming as electronic machines. So now it is mass electronic instrumentation. So we are seeing the advantage of this one in many fields, especially during this time of Corona, COVID-19 virus. So what is electronic measurement and electronic measuring equipments? So we are going to see what are the important parameters for electronic equipments there are six parameters are there one is accuracy second one precision third one resolution fourth one sensitivity fifth one expected value sixth one error and the how many different types of errors are there gross error systematic error random error and absolute errors and relative errors so we are going to see each one of these in detail so first one, we are going to see accuracy. Actually, what is accuracy? It is a degree in closeness of actual measurement compared to the expected value of measured quantity. Okay. To know or to understand about this one, take the same. This one. We want to measure 1 kilogram sugar. Then, in this one, the accuracy, how we are determining the accuracy, we are keeping the stone of 1 kilogram here and we are taking 1 kilogram sugar in this vessel or plate. Then, when the needle exact at the midpoint, then we are saying it is 1 kilogram. Then, we cannot say Will it be in the exact position? There is some oscillation, up and down movement, there, some somewhat like seesaw movement. So we cannot exactly say it is one kilogram. Sometimes it will be in one kilogram and fifty grams will be more, or one kilogram and fifty grams will be less. That is nine fifty gram or uh, thousand and fifty gram will be there. We cannot say exact. Anyway, we can assure that it will not go more than 100 gram, okay, almost plus or minus 100 gram. That may be the maximum error. But if we are, we are taking the same measurement on this equipment, already I told you 1, 2, 3, 4 leads are there. So 1 kilogram 0 0 0 0 0 0.0001, 1.001, 0 0.001, that is 1 kilogram and 1 gram will be measured by this one. 1 kilogram and 1 gram can be measured. So, exactly you can take what is the weight of the sugar we have taken here. So, that is the accuracy. Okay. Accuracy. How much we can accurate, uh, accurately measure the value. Closeness of the actual machine. How much it is close. If you want to take 1 kilogram or 1000 gram. 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. It should be exactly equal to 1000 gram. It should not be become 1000 and 1 gram or 999 gram. 999 gram. So, how far it is near to this one? That is accuracy. So, the accuracy is more in electronic equipments compared to analog equipments, the old machines. If we are taking this here also, you cannot measure, see here you can see 26.9, will you be able to say what is value here, you can say 20, 
is it 20 or 9 19 or 18 then we have some confusion because we are not able to exactly say whether it is 19 or 20 but here you can exactly say it is 19.8 that exact value you can put it so that is the one important thing second one is precision means take the same example two persons prepare one kilogram sugar first person the shopkeeper give one kilogram sugar to first person by measuring this uh, using this device again for the second person also he gave one kilogram sugar then both of them got one kilogram sugar they paid but imagine there is one electronic equipment outside of that shop if these two persons are going to measure the weight once again by using this electronic equipment then then you can see the weight of the sugar packet that is in in these two person it will not be same for the first person it may be 1010 gram for the second person it may be 1020 gram or 9 992 gram somewhat like that means these two measurements never cannot be become same why it cannot be become same because accuracy is less here so we are almost we are predicting the value so when we are taking the same measurement repeated time the accuracy is low see. so we are saying it has less precision but the same accuracy we can keep here so if repeatedly we are able to keep the same accuracy then we are saying it is precision some measurement of consistency or repeatability of the measurement when quantity is measured repeatedly in the instrument should give the same value resolution what is resolution the small change in the measurement variable to which instrument will respond small change in a measurement variable to which instrument will respond means if you are going to take the same thing same machine if you just touch on this on the top of this machine you can say variation in the volume but you cannot see that much easy variation here you have to apply some extra force then only this needle start to move but here just by just a touch you can see this much actually what is weight weight is nothing but it is a force kilogram newton so the force what it is experiencing on a body by the earth that is actually weight so the, if you are applying one force on the top of this machine it will show some value that much weight is there kilogram newton is there not kilogram newton is there so for a small touch if it is showing that value means it, it has that much resolution smallest change so uh, not actually it is not resolution it is sensitivity resolution means then if just you just touch on the top of this machine it shows value one you again press on this top of the machine it shows the value two so first one you got the value one gram second time you just again press you got value two gram so what is the smallest change between these two it is one gram so resolution of this one is one gram that is it will measure from the variation of one gram okay but it will not measure below that one. so thousand gram it is one kilogram okay less than that one gram that is one milligram or one microgram it will not measure so what is the resolution of this machine it is one gram for this one next increment it will 28.2 next one it will be 28.3 so what is the increment 
point one degree Celsius. So the resolution of this segment is point one degree Celsius. That resolution is less here. Again, here also it is less. So actually, resolution means the smallest change. What is the smallest digit or the smallest value that can be indicated by the measuring instrument that is resolution. Then next one sensitivity. Sensitivity actually in the in the static one resolution I said about sensitivity. Sensitivity the same example we can take the same example. We are just pressing just a small pressing is here. That time you are able to see the value one gram. So imagine it just the small very small person you are applying here that time I already told you actually weight means kilogram newton it is a force very small force you are applying here you are not able to see any value it is zero only you slightly increase that force the point at which you are able to see the value it is here it is one one uh, gram newton that time you are able to understand it is able to measure from it is able to measure from that force only so what is the smallest force it can be measured that is sensitivity here what is the smallest change in temperature that can be measured by this thermometer that is nothing but sensitivity so understand the difference between the sensitivity and resolution Sensitivity is the when if you are taking this thermometer, what is the smallest increment of the temperature that can be measured by this device that is the sensitivity. So when the input is slightly changed, there should be an indication in the output input is changed. So what is what should be the that minimum change that has to happen at input? The very small change in input which can be measured by this machine device that is sensitivity resolution means which is the smallest digit between two successive steps measuring step here it is 1 gram 1 gram 2 gram 3 gram like that it can measure up to 1000 gram like that 9000 gram 900 999 gram that is that much it can measure okay means it can measure near to 10 kilogram that is the meaning similarly what is the temperature it can measure minimum temperature and uh, not minimum temperature what is the small change in temperature between two successive measurement it is 0.1 degree celsius 0.05 degree celsius it cannot measure it can measure only in the order of 0 0.1 point, 0 0.1 degree celsius 0 0.2 degree celsius 0 0.3 degree celsius it cannot measure 0 0.26.05 so it can measure only in the order of 0.1 so its resolution is 0.1 degree Celsius but to change that 0.1 degree Celsius what should be the change in temperature at input so the change in output with respect to change in input that is sensitivity then expected value it is the desired value of measuring quantity or most probable value that is expected to obtain error the deviation of true value from the expected value that you can easily understand again what is expected value if I am going to measure one kilogram sugar what is the expected value it is one kilogram only it should not be become 999 gram it should not become one kilogram and one gram it should be exactly one gram, one kilogram that is thousand gram it exactly it should be thousand gram it should not be increased by one gram or should not be decreased by one gram that is except expected values thousand gram then what is the actual uh, error the difference between the deviation from the true value from the expected value so the true value after you are measuring by using this equipment you got thousand gram and ten gram thousand and ten gram so what is the deviation from the expected value that is thousand gram to the measured value that is it is more than 10 gram you are giving more 10 than 10 gram values or 10 gram uh, sugar so these are the performance parameters the next class we can see which are the types of error in measuring devices thank you